Okay friends, welcome to Let's Find Out About It. We have some really interesting and fun things to do today. We're going to talk about all the different things that are made out of paper. And I brought Oonga Boonga. Remember we read this last week? So I brought Oonga Boonga because Daniel has something in Oonga Boonga that I wanted to talk about. Do you see Daniel has something in the picture? Can you see what that is? Well, Daniel has an airplane, and it's a paper airplane. It's made all out of paper, and that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about all the different things that we use that are made out of paper. So first, I wanted to show you this. This is a greeting card. See, it's sometimes you get it for your birthday or for holiday. So usually it's folded like this, but if you look, if you unfold it, it looks just like a piece of paper, but it's um, creased right here at the fold. So this is a greeting card, and it's actually made out of paper. I also have a box for you. This is a frozen food box. And see, it's a box, but it's actually just made out of cardboard, which is thicker paper. So I'm going to let everybody take a turn and pass around the box. And I also have another food box. And look, this one is flat because it really looks like a piece of paper. But if I move it and I fold it on the creases, see the creases are right here, then it gets back into a box. But see, it started off just like a piece of paper, but this is cardboard, so it's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to let all my friends take a turn with the cardboard box. So everyone's going to take a turn and pass it. And I also have this other thing that has kind of a funny name. This is called an envelope. Some people call it an envelope, but I'm going to call it an envelope. And see, an envelope is actually made out of paper too. I'm actually going to undo the envelope so you can see oops, that it's actually just made out of paper. So see, if you take all the flaps, it looks, oh, I made a hole. It looks just like a piece of paper. But when you fold it up, it gets back into an envelope. And this is the flap that you lick this part and you seal it. So an envelope is also made out of paper. And I'm gonna give my friends a chance to pass it along to see that the envelope was actually started as just a piece of paper. What else can we think of that was made out of paper that we use in our classroom? We have posters in our classroom, and those are made out of paper, kind of like a cardboard, maybe kind of like this box. We also, sometimes we use construction paper for drawing or for writing. So there's actually a lot of things that we use every day that's actually made out of paper. Even like if you have a bus pass, sometimes bus passes are made out of paper. So there's lots of things that are made out of paper. And I have something else that I made that is actually also out of paper. This is a paper fan. So if I get hot and it's warm outside, I can use my fan and it cools me off because it moves the air around. So now I'm going to show you all how to make a paper fan and then it'll be your opportunity to make a paper fan as well. Okay, so we have a direction sheet that tells us all the steps involved to make a paper fan. So the first step says place a sheet of paper on the table in front of you. Okay, so first I'm going to put the piece of paper here. I'm going to move my box so it's not in my way. Then the second step says, fold the bottom of the sheet up about one inch and crease it all the way down. Okay, so here's my piece of paper. And it says, fold it like this, one inch. And I'm going to crease it all, I'm using my finger to crease it all the way down, just like that. Let's see what the steps now say. So the third step says, turn the paper over and make another one inch fold and crease it all the way down. So this is my favorite part of making a paper fan. You go like this, you go, kiss the table. So that's how you remember, whenever you make a, when you make a fold, then you turn it over to kiss the table. Okay, so now I'm gonna make another fold and I'm gonna crease it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go, Kiss the table, that's how I remember once I make a fold, and then I make another fold, and then I go oh, kiss the table. Sometimes you can give the table a big kiss. Mwah! So then you fold it like this, and then you go 
kiss the table, you fold it up again, and then you try really hard to crease it down. Okay, and then I'm going to make just one more fold and crease it down. And then, let's see if I'm missing any directions. So it says, repeat the steps. Oh, and we did that until the entire process is done. Okay, so then if I move the paper just a little bit, then I get a paper fan and it moves the air around. So if I'm hot, then I can use it at home. And then, you know what I remember that I forgot to do? But I don't think I have a pen. I should have put my, I put my name somewhere so that everybody knows this is mine. Then I can make it at the end. If I had a pen, i put my name on it. So now I have paper for all of my friends. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another one since I just made one. And then you're going to get a piece of paper. And you're going to get a piece of paper. And let's put our names on first so we don't forget to put our names on. And our core members and our teachers are going to help us make our paper fans. But I'll grab the instructions so we can start all over. Okay.